Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am gonna be putting body shop makeup to the test. I recently traveled on down to my local body shop. I have tried out plenty of their body butters, shower gels, skincare, but I have never really gotten into their makeup and you guys are the ones in the comment section that were asking for this over and over and over to the point that other people were actually hopping on those comments and they're like, stop requesting it. She's seen this already. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like this is just something that's so wanted that I need to figure it out and sit down and film it. So I got a good array of products and we're going to just try them out together for the first time. I'm gonna let you know how they apply initially and we'll just kind of see what works and what doesn't. I'm a little bit nervous I don't know too much about the line, but I am always happy to discover new things and hopefully find some new products that I can recommend for you all that are not too crazy expensive. We're gonna get into some face products. I have the Honey Bronze Drops of Sun, and this is something you can use on its own. You can use to adjust foundation. I just thought it was kind of a cool product and I was really curious about it. It has a dropper and it's an actual gel that has no shimmer in it whatsoever. And you'll see on the back of my hand, it is immediately giving my skin kind of a bronzy tint to it without it looking shimmery or heavy or oily or anything like that. This has vitamin E and honey and you can mix it again with moisturizer or in your foundation. I'm gonna be using the Fresh Nude Foundation. I have the shade Macadamia 024. I am praying to the heavens that this matches. So let's get into these two products and I'm gonna scoot you guys a little bit closer for application. The first thing I notice about this foundation, guys, it comes in a pump. Gotta keep the product clean. I love that. I love a good pump on a foundation more than anything else. There we go. I'm going to take my beauty blender and just go in and hope that it matches and we'll adjust things as needed. So, oh, look at that. I actually did a pretty decent job. They have a nice shade range. I did notice that. And this is said to have a semi-matte finish. So I'm thinking it's just going to have a natural finish. It's not going to be overly luminous. And I'm not sure if this is buildable or what the deal is as far as coverage goes. Um, just putting that on right here, I can definitely see my pigmentation poking through, which means I'm gonna want more. <laughs> so this also is enriched with aloe vera and rose water. It has an SPF of 15, lots of good things going on quite smooth and not like it is hard to sink into the skin. I have been doing a few new things with my skincare. I know that you guys are always asking about skin. Let me know what kind of a video you want me to do. If you want me to do like an actual routine video coming up. Wow, that is a plane. So this is going on really nicely. I'm really, really loving how this feels on my skin. I'm gonna say this reminds me an awful lot of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. Like it has that same liquidy feel. It blends in really nicely. It sinks into the skin. It has a natural finish. So I'm gonna be sure to let you guys know by the end of the day how I feel about this and if it is worth the extra little bit of a splurge against the photo focus, which is $5.99, because this guy right here is $25. That is up there in price. It might not be an Armani price tag, but it's definitely nothing that you would pay at the drugstore. Next up, I have a $12 concealer, which I think is a really great price tag on a concealer. This is the all-in-one, and I'm not quite sure what the deal is with this. Let's kind of open. Oh, wow, how is that so dark? Okay, so I'm feeling like I got the wrong shade. Let's just like test. Yeah, we're not gonna use this today, but let me know in the comments, is this one that you guys have checked out and used? Should I repurchase this in a lighter shade? I will keep it on hand, obviously, and try it out the second I use a self tanner or anything like that. I am going to use an Elizabeth Arden concealer that I'm really into at the moment instead. This is the Ceramide Lift and Firm Concealer. This is just like a really nice natural concealer and I'm into it big time at the moment. All right, so to set everything, I am gonna take this Body Shop All-in-One Face Base. Now this is technically, I believe, a foundation powder. I have the shade 55. I am going to take a velour puff and I'm just gonna see what kind of coverage I can get out of this powder. Testing a small patch right here. That looks like it might be okay. Sometimes I love doing that, using a more natural finish, not too heavy foundation, and then going in with a powder foundation. It can just make the skin look really pretty without looking too heavy. 
and you can cover up more and it actually locks everything in really nicely. And this powder actually has marula oil as one of the ingredients, which I really love. I actually used to use marula oil as a last step in my skincare. It's just really beneficial to the skin, kind of like argan oil, same type of a thing. It's just really a nice moisturizing product. I'm gonna be curious if I get greasy or if this stays matte or what happens being that the thing that they talk about with this particular product is that it is infused with marula oil, which can be really heavy. This does come with a sponge, so if you wanna to go totally crazy and use this just as your foundation, you absolutely could. The compact's a little bit bulky, but not bad. I really don't know how I feel about this. I've been so stuck on drugstore powders that I feel like it's really hard to impress me to wanna to spend more than $10 on a powder product. And through the magic of editing, my brows are all done. So I didn't have any Body Shop brow products, so I just quickly threw on a little brow, and now we're gonna to get to bronzing up the face. This is a $23 slow baked bronzer and this is said to last up to eight hours on the face. I don't know about that. We shall see. I'm just using a Sonia Kashuk brush. I've really been enjoying this kind of a shape for light bronzing. I just start up on the temples and drag the color down. Hmm, that's actually really nice. This is a lot more shimmery than I normally go for. The Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder and Cocoa that I've been using a lot recently, that one's a touch more almost orangey. There's, I don't know why, there's some reason I like that one and I don't mind its warmth. Um, it kind of just wears in a way that your skin just looks really, really nice after a while. This is going on not as warm, but it's definitely more shimmery, which is not something that I'm always all about when it comes to bronzers. I don't wanna like look too shiny everywhere. Yeah, I don't think I'm loving that as much as I really want to. So I am gonna go into something else that is kind of new. This is not Body Shop, but I've never tried it out, so I figure why not try it out for the first time right here as well. I am going to blush and highlight my face with this palette from Makeup Revolution. This is the Blush Palette Goddess, and you guys know I have been raving about their blushes and how nicely they blend, and I put it in my five under five video, and I saw this full palette at Ulta, and I was like, yep. I need to try that out. Look at how beautiful that is. It just blended so quickly, evenly, and nicely. I'm gonna take a different brush, go into this kind of more hot pinky color up top and really hit the apples of my cheeks. All right, now I'm gonna go into the highlighters in here really quick and just add a little something. All right, we're gonna move on to a little eyeshadow. I have two quads right here, and I was touching, feeling, swatching, testing, trying all of the eyeshadows from the body shop, and I was actually really impressed in the store with how they were applying to the back of my hand. Now, that doesn't always tell you the full story of how things are going to apply on your actual eye with a shadow brush. So we're about to see how this goes down. I'm gonna use the more taupey shade one. I have this one as well called, oh, they're just numbered. Whacked. Oh, I have the number four down to earth palette. I also have the number one down to earth palette. On the back, it does give you simple instructions on how to do a cute little look. I think that's quite nice and they're really a pain to get into. So I'm kind of destroying the packaging um, and the instructions. Ooh, which one do I wanna use? Uh... Okay, I thought I was gonna use the plum one. I'm actually gonna use this. Swoosh a little bit of this lighter color all over the lid just to give a nice base. And then I'm gonna take this kind of mustard shade and go into the crease. It has a little bit of a shine to it though, so I don't know how that's gonna work out. So I'm not just gonna take that in the crease. I'm actually going to fan it down on the lid as well. I just like the tone of this yellow mustardy shade. It's really pretty, blending pretty well. And then I'm going to take another crease brush. I'm gonna take a MAC 217. I'm going in. I'm going into this really rich matte espresso shade right here, and I'm going to focus it on the outer half of the lid. So I basically only used the yellow tone shade and the deep espresso shade and just kept blending and adding and darkening up that outer edge and really dragging the color below on my lower lash line. It blends pretty well. The only thing that's running through my head right now is usually when I try a new product, I know immediately I'm like, oh my God, I love this. This is so incredible. 
or I like really don't like it. And this one is just kind of like not really wowing me, but I kind of have to wait and see because it did blend really well. The color payoff is good and there's nothing bad about it. It's just not like, oh my God, where have you been all my life? I am gonna try out a Body Shop mascara. You guys know I am always game to try out a new mascara. It will be the mission for the rest of my life to find the world's best mascara. What is your guys' favorite all-time mascara? Leave that in the comments. Like what, if you could have one mascara forever, what would it be? I'm curious. All right, so the brush on here kind of looks a little crazy. It's like fat spiky, but also thin on the center part. This is said to not clump. It's safe for contact lens wearers. Do not ever skip out on curling your lashes especially if you have really flat lashes like me. Uh, it is transferring quite a bit to my upper lid. Boo, why are you doing that? All right, it is doing such a beautiful job on the lower lash line. I think it's making my lashes look really, really nice. It's not clumping and it makes them look full and long, but I hate how it is doing this thing. I'm gonna wait till that dries and kind of try to scrape it off a little bit instead of smudging things everywhere. I don't think you would notice so much if you were wearing a liner, but I'm not today. And usually when I try out mascaras, because in the past you guys have requested that I do it this way, I don't like to put liner on so you guys can see like the full real deal of it. So yeah, that's a bummer that it's transferring so much. I do also have this little guy, which is like a bronze slash highlighting dome. And the girl that worked at the body shop that was helping me said this is one of her favorite products. So I was like, all right, well, I think I need to try that out then. And it looks really pretty. It's a cream to powder type of a situation. I'm gonna be curious to see how this layers on top of powder. And this dome right here is $16. So that's a little bit up there in price. And I'm gonna kinda just do a little bit of this. Ooh, that is really pretty actually. I kind of am really into that. Yeah, don't use it on your nose, but on the cheeks, it's beautiful. Look what I just did to my foundation. Oh my God, so pretty. Okay, I love this on the cheeks and you can't really see my shoulders right now, but I bet it's so awesome on your shoulders too. And I love that it's just like in a little dome thing that you can kind of just put wherever you want. Now for lips, we're gonna swatch and see a few of the different items that I picked up. This one right here is actually for both your cheeks and your lips. Now this is a $16 little pencil that you can use on your cheeks or your lips. It says it has a floral scent online. I didn't detect that when I was in the store. Um, I guess it kind of does. Okay, I don't know why I like that, you guys. What the heck? It looks really cute on my hand. And maybe it's that I have stuff on my lips already, but that is like a really dry kind of a texture. I don't think I like that so much. I'm gonna do a liquid lip instead of this guy right here because I did pick up three of those. They have a matte liquid lip. This is the matte liquid lip. I have the shades number 17, I have 32 and 34. I'm actually gonna go with this one right here, this shade 32, and I'm gonna use a newer product to line my lips as well. This is from Buxom. This is the Plump Lip Liner in Stealth, and I'm not gonna fill in my lips. I'm just gonna kind of outline them a little bit. All right, this already looks very whipped and kind of creamy in texture versus wet. So we're gonna go in. And I'm really surprised by the price on these. These are 10 bucks. That's so weird. And it smells like a banana popsicle. Mm, okay, there's something about the texture of this that I'm not loving. And I kind of feel like I am not liking everything that I'm trying right now, which is really a big bummer. So this is the completed look using all products that I have never tried before from the body shop. I'm curious to test out these little drops of sun. I will let you guys know how that goes. The foundation... The foundation is something that I'm really enjoying. It doesn't feel sticky, tacky. It just feels really hydrating, but not overly oily. It's just sitting on my skin nicely and I am enjoying it so, so much. I will definitely keep using this and it might become a new favorite. I'm really, really happy I tried that out. The powder is gorgeous. I absolutely need to put this to the test on a day when I'm not wearing any other makeup and just use it as a powder foundation. I feel like it gives really, really good coverage and I am happy with this one. I also really love this little honey bronze thingamadoo, not for the nose, 
only for the cheeks. This is beautiful though, blended in really, really nicely, even over powder. I'm not a fan of this. I think this just did not do much at all. It was too shiny, too orangey, didn't blend the way I wanted it to, and is just not worth the money. This little guy for your lips and cheeks, it has such a stiff texture that I'm just like, no, I'm not into it. The mascara is so just kind of disappointing because on the lower lashes, it worked really, really well, but this formula just kind of wants to go here, there, everywhere. And I think that has to do with the brush and just maybe my eye shape. The eyeshadows, I'm actually not impressed with. I I feel like I could have done a better job with my 399 singles from Maybelline. I'm in my head thinking of the shade Glow Getter and thinking of the more espresso brown shade that I used in my 100% drugstore tutorial. I could have done a very similar thing and I just I don't think this did enough. I'm not really happy with my eye look right now. I think it's kind of, mm, the colors didn't blend that great. Nothing really, really impressed me. And then these guys right here, I am totally on the fence about because it has such a weird whipped texture. It's not a normal liquid lipstick that is gonna dry down completely matte and feel dry to the touch. Like, like you can see there's color that comes off on my fingertips. This is a lighter shade, so maybe it's not the best one to show that um, result with, but it's just a weird texture. I can't tell whether I love it or hate it. I seriously am very, very on the fence with these. I hope you enjoyed this video of me just getting my hands dirty, my face made up, and if you want me to continue this series with another brand, let me know that in the comments as well. I love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.